Wow. Okay guys, so the Lion Country Safari is situated on nearly 600 acres of natural areas and home to over 900 animals. So the goal here is drive directly to the entrance and just keep continue driving and then you're gonna see all these amazing animals. Hello. Hi, how are you? I got this. Just yes. And have you been here before? Oh yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. The Lion Country Safari is located in Palm Beach County, Laxahatchee, Florida. It was founded in 1967 and claims to be the first cageless zoo in the United States. In 2009, US travel guide named Lion Country Safari the third best zoo in the nation, and it was ranked among the top 10 safari parks in the United States by the USA Today in this year 2021. It is right now 1.27, 1.30 p.m. Usually animals at this time, they look for shadows and they pretty much sleep. I really suggest if you visit this place, come in the morning and then you're gonna see less people. Or also try to check out during the week uh, because Sunday, I'm just amazed. It's so many people in here. Honestly, they not expect that. One more thing, you need to keep the windows closed. It's very important. Wow, look at that zebra. Hey, buddy. In Lion Country Safari, there are over 1,000 wild animals, including lions, wild beasts, giraffe, the largest herd of zebras on record in North America, ostrich, chimpanzees, and rhinos. Look at this! Right there! The Safari Preserve is divided into seven main habitats and enhance your trip through the safari with their audio guide. So guys, don't forget to ask for the audio guide once you are at the kiosk. This is a safari maze and uh, let's see if I can find my own exit. So walking faster. Alright, so I'm already lost. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna get into a small farm, which is right here. Get a little wild. <laughs> I had to be careful with it. <laughs> they're hungry, so they're feeding them. There is the big one actually is attacking the small one, and you don't want to be in the middle of those guys because I don't think it's gonna go well. <laughs> Okay, so you can also have this, so you can brush this little guy. There you go, just like this. That's how you take care of them. They love it. You see? Now there are some small spots where kids can also enjoy, have a, something more creativity. They have this type of thing like a yo in a mine. They have this structure so the kids can play. 
with water, the right to find gold. That's the whole deal. Check this out, look. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm gonna stop the video for a few seconds and let me explain to you the reasons why I went to one place but then I decided to go back again. It was already late. So I went to the Lion Country Safari very late in the afternoon. I did not go in the morning. And then I went through uh, the main entrance of the Lion Country Safari for the walkthrough area. It is pretty much like a, a small zoo, but when I get inside, actually it was very big and it was taking so much time. It was very hot. And I believe for the full process, staying there, I couldn't even finish everything. And I was completely tired, so I decided to go back. So as soon as I get into my car and was driving back home, what? Did I forget to go to the giraffe? So I did not go to the giraffe feeding. Actually, that was the main reason I wanted to go there because I want to experience that. Then I woke up today in the morning, I look at the sky, it was so beautiful outside. So then I decide, all right, this is the right time, it's early. I'm going to the Lion Country Safari website if they have any availabilities, and then I'm gonna go back again. So I'm gonna stop right now and let's go back to the video. Let me tell you this. That was kind of scary. I got it, I got them so close to my window. <laughs> and this this other one just came very close to me. I was like, there these are big and huge. <laughs> and you don't know. It feels like I just want to go back and they just run faster against the car. So many things just happened to my mind. I was like, what happened if they do that? And that will be no good. Now, some animals will be very close to you. Some of them. Some others are gonna be trying to be away from you, but you can actually can see them at the distance. I can see them eating peacefully, having a great time. This is breakfast. Completely breakfast. Yeah, definitely this is a better experience. I mean, imagine zebras and rhinos right there all together eating like Hey, come come to my house. Let's have a breakfast and let's talk about let's talk about life. So that's pretty much what they're doing. So what you're going to experience is this: you're gonna find animals very close to you. You're gonna find animals crossing the road. You're gonna find animals eating right there next to your door. What I detected is that as soon as you put it down or you take your hands out of the window, they will detect that. They will find out that there's something else coming out from the windows. Maybe they can see it. Oh. Do you guys see that? 
That was very cool. Animals are wild, they're free. It's a better experience, I can tell you. So my suggestion, my two cents, try to book and come here in the morning, first thing in the morning. So the lions are on the other side, Now you can see they have some uh, area so they can play. I'm walking towards the entrance of the Lion Country Safari. This is the walkthrough. The safari site, when you drive through, is that way. Now we're gonna go to that way. Just another hot day here in Florida, but it is such a beautiful day. This is the map of the area. Maybe you wanna prioritize what do you wanna see first? Rides and attractions, animal habitats, or animal encounters, food shopping. He will tell you by numbers exactly where do you need to go. Pretty cool. You're never gonna get lost. since I came here is because I want to do the giraffe feeding so I cannot wait giraffe encounter all right let's go Let's feed it. That's how you do it. Let's get it close. Smart. It's the one that get close. Look at the camera. Yeah, there we go. Can somebody feed me like a giraffe? I'm hungry. <laughs> Yes? 
Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? Juanita. Juanita, ¿y usted? Yolanda Terranova. Yolanda, ok. ¿Y de dónde son ustedes? Colombia. 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 Acercarnos un poco más a los animales, conocer animales que nunca hemos visto. Es nuestra primera vez acá en Estados Unidos, entonces estamos muy emocionadas de poder acercarnos a estos animales. ¿Y ya fueron al safari? Sí. ¿Qué tal? Espectacular. ¿Sí? ¿Cuál es tu animal favorito? No, las cebras. ¿Las cebras, verdad? Sí. <risa> sí, pero las jirafas. Y las jirafas son bonitas, sí, ¿verdad? Me encantó. Y la, eh, nos acercamos a un hipopótamo y la sensación de ver el tan grande, tan fuerte. ¡Uy, qué susto! Bye. Bye. <risa> This is where all the birds can be so close to you. Like these guys right here. Look at them. <laughs> Aquí está Little Shy. Shy. Wow. Or, or it's like, yeah, how much? How much yeah, are you going right. to pay for it? They're like, it all comes out of price to nectar price. Yeah. That's smart. Actually, he's the one who bite me. That one is? Yeah. Is he's like the I was trying to grab it, it was like, ah, really? stop it. Oh, there's one back. that's really friendly. It like nibbles on your ear. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I don't want to go that. that we have a that lot of friendly here. ones, but they're probably all over nectar. I'll say right they're now. all right there getting food. Tell me, what is exactly the liquid? Okay, so this is a nectar, which it's pretty much just a berry powder that we mix in with some a little bit of water. So this has all their nutrients in it, like their vitamins, their minerals, and a little bit of berries, and then to give them like an extra special treat. It smells actually pretty good, not the worst thing. Can I, I drink it? I am drinking it. Have you tried? I've thought, you about try? it. I've thought about it, but I have to ask a couple other keepers really? if anybody is else. So somebody sure. tried already. I'm yeah. sure they've tried. How should I attract them? So you'll just kind of walk around and you'll hold out your cup. The birds will fly to you. They'll fly on your hands, on your shoulders, on your heads, just kind of where anywhere on their body. So birds and their beaks are just kind of like an extra appendage. So they'll land on you and they'll use their beaks to crawl up crawl up your arm but they're not trying to bite you they're just trying to crawl to where they need to get the food so you can walk around hold your cup up high hold your cup down low because the birds are everywhere in here and they should come to you they definitely know what's in this cup and they know it's like the golden liquid in that's here. the golden liquid mm -hmm, the right, golden cool. liquid all right so i stay here here yeah they're, they're a little far away drinking. No more? Okay, now he's going to go to the other side. <laughs> he's going to go to this side, right? <laughs> Travel channel. Oh, hey. You what's want to that? say hello to the world? Hello. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, and your kids? Anthony and Mason. You want to say hello to it? Come on. What is it? It's Hi. a YouTube channel, travel channel. Oh, that's cool. How'd you get you want that? This? Yeah. I think they're going to close around 4 30, 5 30, about that time. Now, usually the animals are getting active around that time, but you know what? It's kind of risky because if you come at that time, then you are in a rush trying to cover all the area and that is not maybe comfortable for you especially when you have a family with my recommendations is 
come here in the morning. When did I get the tickets? Honestly, I got the tickets today in the morning. 30 minutes before coming to this place. But always try to check on the website because we are on the pandemic still. So I have my mask. You don't know what else can happen. What are the new rules here in Florida? So far, there are not many restrictions. So it's better to check on the website and see if there are any type of restrictions. Maybe the uh, feeding animals are completely closed and you might gonna miss that experience. So it's better to double check and make sure that you can enjoy this place as much as you can. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for staying with me. You guys are the best. I honestly, really enjoy doing this and share my experience what my eyes can see for you but very important don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive future notifications when i post the new videos which i do once a week give me your feedback put your comments in there i will be very happy to follow up with you and again i'm here to make new friends and you guys are my friends thank you for being with me and i see you soon in the next video ciao bye